And what about CFD? I... FD. FD. The thing that's always concerned me is having sat in that little wind tunnel with the door open and a bit of a tuft on a string looking at the wake, the wheel wakes flop about. They're not stable. Now, CFD doesn't work on anything but steady flow. So my view has always been that CFD is of limited value without a wind tunnel to confirm because it can't predict the wheel wake and the wheel wake is what you're trying to control. You're throwing such a set of very stable, powerful vortices down the car that they stabilise the wheel wake and therefore by inference CFD can deal with it. But I'm still quite mm. sceptical. And the other variable is the tyre sidewall as well. Well, all of that, yeah. Mm. You, 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 that moves. I mean, mm. so I'd be pretty comfortable using CFD for a sports car or a road car. Mm. But for an open-wheel single-seater, I'm amazed that they're getting the results they're getting. Because obviously people are confident in it. People are using it. But, but is some of that due to just massive computational power? But I well, say that is, because there's a limit in the amount yeah, of power yeah, you can but use I anyway. mean, obviously, it's, yeah. it's an amazing amount of power they use. Mm. I'm just intrigued to know what their fiddle factor is to compensate yeah. for, the, for the unsteady flow aspect of it. Well, it's obviously quite large because they're still backing everything up with wind tunnels. And wind tunnels yeah, are still I, very I, much a part of the DNA. If somebody said to me tomorrow, yeah. you could have only a wind tunnel or only a CFD. I wouldn't think about CFD for two milliseconds. I mean, I know you that because you're, hack through. And you're not saying that because you're old school. You're saying that because of I reality today, exactly. right? I don't know of any CFD code that I'd be confident enough to predict the flow around an open wheel single seater with, without mm. using wind tunnel to back it up and mm. confirm. And yet, obviously, if you only had a wind tunnel and you're making model parts, you wouldn't be able to get through anywhere near as much work. Because the one thing with the CFD, it's a nightmare to make the first model. But once, you in, once you're there, you can modify it relatively easily. With the, with the full-size, with a, a large wind tunnel model, it's a very expensive and long-winded business to, mm. to get the bits made.